on a bluegrass festival and fortunately I've got a fiddle player here on my right yeah. and I got the daddy of one of the band's uh, leaders here right. right let's find out who you are sir I'm Pal Waldrop okay and Pal tell me who your son is uh, Gary Waldrop he's the leader of the bluegrass uh, Gary Waldrop band okay yes, and sir. this is a fiddle player yeah I play the fiddle I've been with Gary about four years now wow that's yeah. good um, what kind of a group, I mean, I know it's bluegrass and everything, but you know, there's even different types of bluegrass music. There's a old, I guess, old mountain style, and there's That's more right. of a popular than everybody yes, uh, I would say Gary does a variety. You know, he, he liable to do a country song, an old time, real old time bluegrass, or a, what I'd say an up to date, right. later uh, bluegrass. He, he does a variety of uh, bluegrass. Does he uh, have a, a certain group he maybe like Bill Monroe or maybe a Lester Flatt and Earl Scrubs? Have anybody he kind of patterns himself after? Oh yeah, a bunch of them. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you just mentioned a bunch of them or some right. of them. Yes, well, that's he, the people who got it all Yes, uh, he, he loved Bill Monroe. He was uh, well acquainted with him, went to his funeral and things like that and the same way of uh, or Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs, he had the pleasure of getting to play with uh, Mr. Scruggs just uh, not long back. One of them he, just died recently. Right, the day before yesterday. Yes, he he didn't even uh, know that uh, Scruggs was there that day, and he was playing and everything. He mentioned one of the band members said, he, he said, I believe that's uh, Earl Scruggs. And she said, that is Earl Scruggs. And he was sitting <laughs> wow. on the front page listening to him now. So that was a... Uh, Yep. That was a good day. He well, liked, he enjoyed it. Oh, I'm telling you, I, I, li I like listening to those oh, groups. Yes. Now, how did you get interested in playing the fiddle of all things? Well, it was kind of thrown on me about 20 years ago. I actually played banjo. Oh, okay. So it was, uh, it was kind of thrown on me. They needed a fiddle player, had a banjo player, and that's how I wound up playing fiddle. Well, you know, talking about banjo, I like to watch the old uh, reruns on Hee Haw they have on, on uh, oh, one of the yeah. TV channels. Oh, yeah. And uh, there's, a different, there's different types of, uh, of playing banjos, too. you got a three-string or, or whatever how you do it. Actually, I, I say there's four, uh, three types of banjo music. The three-finger, like which That's Earl right. Scruggs done real good. Then there's a the claw hammer. Then you got the plectrum, where they usually actually use a pick yes, and uh, yes. pick it like that. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I'm thinking Grandpa Jones and String yeah, Bean and all those. He does, they did the claw hammer. Okay. Yeah. And now there used to be a fiddle player on uh, Porter Wagner's show. A long Mac time ago. No. <laughs> that guy had energy, didn't he? He did. He was an awesome fiddle player. Is that the way you play fiddle? No, I just stand up there. <laughs> okay. <and> play fiddle. <laughs> I don't have that kind of movement or energy. <laughs> well, you know, one thing about this kind of music, it has energy. It gets up and go, doesn't it? It does. You can't it just does. sit back there. Yep. you got to pat your hand or... or Clap your hands and pat your foot sometime during the Oh, yeah, you there's no way you can sit there and listen to it and do nothing. Well, uh, if somebody wanted to get a hold of you, where are you located now? Uh, northeast Alabama, a little community in town right out of uh, Boaz, Alabama, in Kilpatrick. Gary oh. is from Kilpatrick, Alabama. Wow, okay. And uh, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Uh, you have an email address? Email or? address, yes. Uh -huh. Can you tell me what it is? No, I can't. Can you tell me what it is? <laughs> It'd be probably Gary at Gary Walter band.com. Let me rephrase it. I left a word out. It's the Gary Walter band.com. The Gary Walter band.com. Right. Dot com. Or you can call him at 256 561 3908. 3908. Yeah. All right. Very good. Well, I'm sure they are, would uh, be interested in coming to your area for an event or activity. So if you think you might be interested, you, that's the way to get a hold of them. Any final comments here? Pardon? Any final comments? No, no, except we've enjoyed being here, having a great festival here. If you haven't been here, if you've got time, come on out this afternoon. There's going to be some great entertainment between now and 10 o'clock. It gets bigger every year. Every year. Yeah. And uh, it, it's, uh, Gear has been blessed with being the hostess here for the last five or six years at this festival. We really enjoy it. The people here are so great. The facility is so great. So if you haven't been here, yes. you need to come out. And if you don't make it this year, next year, just bring somebody with you and come on out. Fantastic. That's Thank you for talking time. with us, and best of luck on your fiddling. Good. Thank you. You don't fiddle around much, do you? Not much. All right. <laughs> Very good. We're going to take a break for commercials, and we'll be back with more of Doorway to the Delta right after this.